Sombrerano everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, guess what? I am here in Prague, the beautiful city, after 20 hours of travel time. Gosh, I'm so happy to be here. So, hope you watch this video. I'll show you step by step of spending the time in Prague. It's so easy to navigate and you probably can do it within two or three days. Well, let's explore, sit back and enjoy. Bye. Prague is a very popular destination in Eastern Europe. It is an ancient city with so much history and with such a medieval feel to it. And also it is the capital and the largest city in the Czech Republic. This beautiful town is designed for horses, cart and for walking. The cobblestone streets rarely follow a straight line and uneven services. So make sure to bring and pack your comfortable shoes because you don't want to feel sorry and you need it to roam around the city. I just happened to stay in the old town area, which is super convenient and easy to navigate around and close to everything and close to the shopping area too. I would recommend it if you can search and stay around the old town neighborhood when you come and visit. As I walk around the neighborhood, I stumble on the statue of David Cerny of Frank Kafka. And a few blocks away, it's the Old Town Square. Yes, the famous Old Town Square, a plaza surrounded by so many things. The first thing on the square has to stop by the St. Nicholas Church. It is one of the oldest church around. It is small, but it has a beautiful interior inside. Outside the church, I can see the uh, statue of Jan Hus. He was the philosopher that was burned at the stake in 1415 for criticizing the Catholic Church. Next to it, of course, the most famous tourist attraction, astronomical clock. It is the oldest operating astronomical clock in the world. The clock features 12 statues of the apostles, one of which appears above the clock every full hour. So many people stand around waiting for the clock to run. So better to catch it early morning, like around 9 a.m. to have less people swarming around to enjoy it. You can also go up to the clock tower to enjoy the view of the Old Town Square. And you can get 360 views, quite impressive actually. Well, let's take a little breaky here. I'm gonna have some traditional Czech food it is langos. It is super popular snack food here in Prague. Well, basically it is a deep fried dough. Who can say no to that? To me, it is basically a garlicky Chinese donuts that's shaped like a pizza dough, covered with cream cheese and piled up with shredded cheese. Yes, and then they swirl ketchup on top of it. Well, my tummy will have a blast with this dairy product later on for sure. Is it the best or good? Well, I don't mind it. Okay, let's moving along to Wenceslas Square. It's just a few block away. Wenceslas Square is the busiest pedestrian area in the Czech Republic. The square ends with the impressive building of the Czech National Museum. This is the square when they announced and declared the end of the Second World War in 1918. There is the statue of the Saint Wenceslas standing strong in front of the museum. There are so many things I want to see while in Prague. So I map it around and I think the easiest way to experience Prague is to follow the royal route. As I'm heading right now to the famous Charles Bridge. I purposely made a little detour just right before the entrance to the bridge into this little hidden house where Johannes Kepler used to live. He was a German astronomer that described how the planets orbit the sun. He's also best known for his three laws of the planetary motion. Well, back to the royal route. I am here about to go to the entrance to the Charles Bridge. And of course, here is the man, Charles himself. 
Well, the funny joke is if you look at the statue at certain angle, you will see Charles is peeing on the city looking out at his own bridge. It is pretty funny actually. So Charles Bridge is an over 600 years old bridge that used to be the only one that connects Prague Castle to the old town for centuries, lying on the opposite side of the Vltava River. This bridge is super popular and it's beautiful because all the statues of the saints on the each side of the bridge. It is quite stunning. And so apparently there's a tradition if you rob the plaque beneath the statue, that means you will be back to Prague again someday. So let's do it. Why not? I love this city so much and I want to come back again someday. And I finally arrived on the other side of the bridge and look at this. If you have been to Disneyland, don't you think this reminds you of it? It's just like a replica of Disneyland. And I feel like a kid again, feeling so happy just being here and it feels like I'm on one of those Disney cartoon movies. All these pastel color buildings and just beautifully structured. Impressive and I'm beyond stoked right now and speechless. If you turn to the left after you enter, you will find the John Lennon Wall, the monument to freedom of speech and fight against communism. They painted the wall with the image of John and the lyrics from the Beatles songs, and of course, some of the political graffiti. It is super funky and colorful, definitely a sight to see when you come and visit. Next, I'm on my way to the Prague Castle, and guess what? Who would have thought that you will find a Starbucks store with a magical view of the Prague city? Yes, it's the Starbucks. It is located in front of the edge of the castle. I should have known that Starbucks is everywhere, but come on, here? Really? Mm, but of course, I took another breaky and just enjoy some cold drinks while at it with the view. Oh, it's so magnific. Walking to the castle, and that's the two famous statues up there of the battling titans and there are the palace guards under it. So Prague Castle is the largest castle complex in the world. The castle is also the office of the presidents of the Czech Republic. It is such a big place and there it is, the 600 year old Gothic spires of the St. Vitus Cathedral. It is probably the most important church of all Sisha. This is the place where Bohemia kings were crowned until the 19th century. It is so huge and incredible. Such an impressive church. Very high ceilings too. It is a stunning complex with multiple courtyards, palaces, and churches to look at. You definitely need the whole day to be here to be able to see everything. There is Disney Zaharadi South Garden that worth to look at with a stunning view of Prague City. It is one of the best spots to be here during sunset time. As I walking away from the castle, there are a lot to see, but I come across at these beautiful creatures along the river, just mind their own business, you know, just enjoying the view and the water. It's so fabulous. And something like this, the entrance to this restaurant is pretty unique. And it's just something that you can only see in Prague. It is time to try another traditional food. Yes, beef goulash. It is super popular in many European countries. It is basically a beef stew with vegetable that comes with a thick gravy and also comes with potato dumplings. Well, to me, it is a little bit dry. Well, maybe I need to eat it with the stew together. Yeah, it's still okay. And also comes with the bread, maybe also to soak with the gravy. And of course, we all need the carbs, especially after walking such a long miles away. Yes. 
Well, who needs a dessert? I do. Especially, it is a traditional sweet in Prague. It is called trelik. It is a chimney cake made from the grilled dough and topped with sugar. It looks good, right? Yes, I got this one with vanilla ice cream and strawberry inside. There are many other flavor options, but this one looks appealing. Especially, I added pistachio to cover the dough. Mmm, I can't wait to get to the cone. Yes, little by little, I have to enjoy this. And look at this. It is spiraling and so much fun to eat. Well, you know one thing? I know for sure this is not the last one I eat on this trip. For sure. As I head back into town and drag myself for another long miles to go, well, the next stop is the Municipal Library of Prague. It is one of the largest library here. And guess what? They have this huge infinity tall book tower. It is also known as Column of Knowledge or Idiom. It is very interesting and one of a kind. It is made up of 8,000 stack books and was built in 1998. And the good part is it is free to get in to look at this, which is a rare thing here in Prague. Definitely worth to check it out. As I'm going to another iconic landmark, I come across this airborne man hanging from the cable in the streets. It says it represents the people belonging to the working middle class society and hit hard in the recession. So many interesting stuff here. And finally, I found the dancing house. It is one of the best known modern buildings in the city. You can go up the rooftop bar called the glass bar to watch one of the most remarkable sunset with a stunning panoramic view of Prague. And it is free to get in if you buy a drink. Patrin Lookout Tower. I'm about to enter this tall tower area. It was built in 1891 and does bear some resemblance to the Eiffel Tower in Paris. It looks like a mini version of the tower without legs. And you can go up there for some amazing view of the city. Letna Park. It is one of the best spots to watch a sunset. Facing the center of Prague, it is the large urban park that is popular spot. And look at the stairs. Gosh, my legs are tired already. It is also known as the Stalin Park because there is a Stalin monument honoring Joseph Stalin in Prague. And look at this view. How could you say no to this beautiful sunset coming up? It is so gorgeous that you can see every single part of the city of Prague. One of the best time to watch the sunset here in Prague is to get on to one of those river cruise excursion. Just float down the Danube River and just immerse myself in the wonder scenery along the river. You can see all the things that you've seen already in a different look and perspective viewpoints some are just breathtaking. The air is fresh and breezy. I just don't want to get off the boat. And honestly, I just want to soak in all the experiences. I can just be here every day during sunset and will never get tired and bored with the views. Life is good. Guys, happy Prague. Well, Prague City. It's beautiful, gorgeous, right? I love it. I love it. I never thought that I would fall in love with this beautiful city. So, if you follow this itinerary, so many cars, you can finish within two or three days of your trip. Take it, make the notes, and you'll be so happy like me. Well, until the next video, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, to follow, Give me a big thumbs up. Until the next time, thank you so much. Bye.